Hey guys, I'm Jenna, also known as Ayala13. Today I need to apologize first up for my voice. I have been sick for about a week and I haven't had a voice for five days. I've been hoping it will get better and this is actually the best it's been. So first of all, I hope you can bear with me sounding weird. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about layering. Layering is a highlighting technique, so it involves putting a lighter color on top of a darker base coat, and it results in a smoother finish than dry brushing, so it's good for textures like skin or cloth, which really don't look so good when they're dry brushed. Start with a dark base coat and let it dry. Make sure to thin your paint down so that the coat is smooth, doing multiple coats to build up a solid color if needed. Once the base coat is dried, we can start the first layer. A common mistake beginners make is choosing a color significantly lighter than the base coat. Multiple layers of similar colors transitioning slowly will result in a smoother effect than a great leap to a lighter color. I usually mix a little of the base coat color into my first layer so that it's a smoother transition. Now, paint the lighter color just on the raised parts of the model. This is usually why I recommend that beginners start with dry brushing so that they can get a feel of where the light would hit the model. This is the model after I finished the first layer. I needed to do a few coats to get that color nice and solid. Now, you may not be able to see much of a difference, but that's a good thing because it means that the transition is nice and smooth. But if you look closely, in this crevice here, you can see it's a darker green than the top part here. Now when your first layer is dry, get that lighter color and put it on the extremities, leaving a little bit of your mid color showing so that we get a nice transition. Now if your colors are similar enough, we shouldn't get a stripy zebra effect, but if you are worried about it, there's a way we can smooth these color transitions even more. So wash out your brush and then just wipe a little bit where that color joins the next one. We're just going to smooth out the edge. I'm going to do that to the rest of these fabric folds. And here we have the finished product. So I've just finished blending in those top layers. So hopefully you can see the difference that made. So all that is is three colors, base coat, then a mix, and then the top layer. Well, that's it for my tutorial on layering. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, and I'm sorry again for my voice.